Dear students, in this module, I am going to talk about the protein ionization techniques. As you know, the first step in mass spectrometry based proteomics is to ionize a protein in the sample. Of course, if you are doing bottom up proteomics, your sample will only contain peptides. If you are doing top down proteomics, then your sample will contain intact or whole proteins only. So the protein ionization step is extremely important because without ionizing the protein or peptide in question, you cannot have a deflection on it by the magnetic field of the mass spectrometer. So therefore, it is very important that we ionize the protein. And towards ionization of the protein, there are two ways. One is either you insert a proton, you load a proton onto the protein, or peptide or you remove a proton from the protein or peptide. Of course, this will result in a net shift of the overall protein charge or the peptide charge. So if the overall charge of the molecule becomes plus one or minus one, then it can be deflected by the magnetic field in the mass spectrometer. Once you load a proton, or you remove, remove a proton from the sample protein or peptide, the result will be a mass shift of the protein or peptide. So if you have a protein and you remove a proton, then the net molecular weight of the protein will be the mass of the protein minus the mass of the proton, which is approximately equal to 1. Similarly, if you load a, pro a proton onto the protein or peptide, then the mass of this molecule will be the mass of the protein plus the mass of the proton. So this is a very important consideration that you have to look at because this mass shift of plus 1 or minus 1 will be reflected in the mass spectrometry data. The salient techniques that are used to ionize a protein include MOLDI and ESI. MOLDI is an acronym of Matrix Assisted Laser Desorption Ionization wherein the molecule of your interest from your sample is actually mixed with a matrix into a solution and dried. So once it is dried up, then you shoot it with a laser and then the molecule is released while carrying a proton. Similarly, for the ESI or Electrospray Ionization, you can charge a protein by loading protons on top of the protein as it moves through a heated needle or probe. So we don't have to look at the detailed mechanisms of how the ionization occurs, but we have to be very careful about the results. So the result from MALDI is that the protein gets ionized or the peptide gets ionized, while in the case of ESI, the molecule gets ionized as well but a little bit differently. In this example, I'm going to show you what can happen if we load a proton onto a molecule uh, that can be a peptide or protein as I just mentioned. So here M represents the molecular weight or mass of the protein or peptide in case of bottom-up proteomics, protein in the case of top-down proteomics. So if you load a proton onto this molecule, then the net mass will be M plus H plus. So this plus represents the charge. And of course, this represents the molecular weight of the protein and this represents the molecular weight of hydrogen. So you can sum this up to obtain the molecular weight. However, there can be another situation wherein a proton is actually removed from the molecule. So in this case, the molecular weight of the molecule reported by the mass spectrometer will be M minus H. So in this way, 
if you look at the peaks, the peak of the molecule will be shifted in both of these cases. Let me draw this for you. So if you have mass over charge ratio on the horizontal axis and intensity on the vertical axis, then you can plot it in three different positions. So the one in red will be your mass without the proton. The one in blue will be your mass plus the proton and this peak will be reported here. So if you insert the sample into the mass spectrometer, you should expect three different peaks. One with the proton added, one without the proton and one without the proton. Of course, if you look at it carefully, then you can ask the question that why can we see the peak without the proton or the peak represented here in red. We should not see this peak because the net charge of this molecule is zero. If a protein does not have a charge, then it cannot be detected by a mass spectrometer. So this peak will no longer be visible. So your mass spectrum will actually look something like this. Okay, so now you know how the peaks look and how you can arrive at the proton added or the proton removed peaks. Now let me talk a little bit about MALDI. So MALDI is a very interesting technique which can insert just one proton on top of the protein. So what MALDI does is that it gives you an opportunity to detect the peak either at 1 plus or at 1 minus. So similarly, in case of ESI, you can see the proton at 1 plus or even 2 plus or 3 plus and so on and so forth. So ESI essentially gives you a spectrum that is more complex than MALDI because MALDI just gives you protein plus 1. But ESI may give you protein plus 1, protein plus 2, protein plus 3, protein plus 4 and so on and so forth. So therefore MALDI is the preferred method of ionization. So towards resolving the protein charges, let me give you an example. So if you have the mass of 2000 of a protein and you add a proton, then your M over Z ratio or mass over charge ratio will be 2000 plus 1 divided by 1. Similarly, if you have two protons, then you have 2000 plus 2 divided by 2. So you will see Two different peaks and if you can add three protons then you will have another peak at this value. So if you have multiple peaks then which peak do you select? So this is very important. You have to see through your spectrum and arrive at this value for searching in the sequence databases. I will just draw these three for you for your reference. So 2001 will be this one, this will be reported here, and that will be reported here. So you have to find out this peak. Okay, so in conclusion, the mass spectrometry ionization is a very important step towards the analysis of proteins. MALDI and ESI are the common techniques, and the most important thing to look out for is the peak with the protein's mass plus the mass of a proton.